McBride is walking down the aisle. Maggie Carpenter is walking down the aisle. Seems very confident in her approach. She's at the first pew. McBride seems to be a bit hesitant. She's turning. She's turning in. Oh, she's running. Where is she going? Lock the door! She likes to dump grooms right at the altar, plows down the aisle, knock an old ladies out of her way like the running of the bulls in Pamplona. I'm profoundly and irreversibly screwed up. I have been accused of using this column to direct bitter diatribes at the opposite sex. I could. <laughs> this runaway bride story, I think we can sell it to GQ magazine. The real story. All the gory details. If she runs again, you got a cover story. Shazam, I think I'm in Mayberry. Hello. 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 Excuse me. Could you have, I'm, I'm looking for Maggie Carpenter. She's gonna follow me around everywhere I go. No. Never guess who came crawling into town. Hello, Maggie. Got to be kidding me. Ooh. You're going to do the same thing to them before that you did to the previous three. And I'm not leaving until you do. All right, boys. Oh. Take my princess for a ride on her chariot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've been running Maggie through these visualization exercises. All the sports drinks uh, use this head stuff. Be the ball. Sink the putt. Never say die. Tell me, when you get to the altar, do you spike the bouquet? He's an attractive man. The vicious reporter is attractive. I like his tight butt. Mm -hmm. Well, I do. What do you think? It works. Oh, we, have, we gotta go. We gotta go meet Bob. May the pitter-patter of little feet not be Maggie. <laughs> May the gifts be returnable. <laughs> Maggie's family and friends. May your noses be rubbed in all of your mistakes. You are just trying to make me run. You want a man to wake you up at dawn. He's just bursting to talk to you. Can't wait another minute just to find out what he'll say. Unbelievable. She got to you, too. When I was walking down the aisle, I was walking toward somebody who had no idea who I really was. But you, you knew the real me. Yes, I did. And that's romantic. It's not that she's afraid of the wedding. She's afraid of the wedding night. Why, when I was a virgin bride, I took a knitting needle to bed with me.